Hey, Bubba. It's your boy, Leroy. And don't tell me you like to go catfishing, yet you ain't got yourself a set of these jugs. Don't go telling me you can't afford it, or you ain't got the time or the know-how. These right here is the easiest way to make catfish jugs, and I tell you what, they work. You don't need all that fancy stuff. We catch them all the time on this rig right here. Sit back and let me show you how we do it. All right, to make these catfish jugs, all you're gonna need is what you see right here. A pool noodle, some catfish line, catfish hooks, some sort of weight, and one cold beer. Because it's only gonna take you one cold beer to do this project. It's that easy. If you're getting your jugs, I suggest getting the fatter ones versus the skinny ones. If you get the fatter ones, you can get four jugs out of one pool noodle. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and measure your pool noodle and divide it by four. I think these came out to be like 13 and 3 8 inches for each one of them, but it ain't gotta be perfect. Catfish don't care, I don't care, but I will make fun if you have one real short jug. Once you get your marks done, take you a real sharp knife, uh, you could use a razor knife or something, just whatever can cut all the way through the foam and cut your jugs at the marks you made. I like using the tar twine, you can get a whole roll of it for 3 bucks at Walmart. Go ahead and unravel some of the twine and feed it through your jug to the other side. Then you're going to pull it through, come back to the other side of the line, and give it a good old granny knot. That's all I do. Maybe three granny knots with that tarred line that'll hold perfectly. Now you need to try to figure out how much line you want on your jugs. Catfish stay on the bottom, so you're pretty much going to want them to be the same depth of water you're fishing. If you're fishing somewhere that's 15 foot deep, make your line 15 foot long. If you're fishing somewhere 5 foot deep, 5 foot long. Just remember, if you want it to be a 5 foot line, add at least a foot to 18 inches extra on top of that. You're going to lose a little bit of length of your line when we make the loops for the hooks, so that'll make up for that. But once you get your line cut, it's time to add the weight. And you can use whatever you want to for weights. Catfish do not care. You can use lug nuts, spark plugs, whatever. I pour my own weights, but lead is expensive. So to keep it cheap, man, just find something laying around the house if you have to. Everybody's got some lug nuts or some old spark plugs laying around. All right, after you get your weight granny knotted on there, come up your line from the weight about a foot make a loop and then tie it into a knot just like I'm doing here. Just one knot, that tarred line will work fine. I always go ahead and do this twice. Go up from your first loop about another foot and make another loop. That way you can have two loops on your jugs. But always be aware that some places don't allow two hooks on a jug. A lot of the TWRA lakes around here, you can only have one hook on your jug. So uh, just keep that in mind. It might be a good idea to have some jugs that just only have one hook on them. But with these loop lines, as long as you take care of them, you can remove the hooks whenever you want to if you are fishing somewhere that only allows one hook. And for these jugs, primarily the fish I catch are in the one to seven pound range. So I'm using Team Catfish Circle Hooks and five aught size, you can pick up a pack of four of these for four bucks. Now what you're gonna do is take your loop and push it through the back side of their hook eye. This can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes, but using that tarred line helps if you can try to take that loop and try to pinch it together as tight as you can. That way it goes through the hook eye. You're gonna pull it through and then take the tip of your hook, wrap it through the loop, and then pull it tight. Now your hook's firmly secured on there. And like I said, you can reverse these steps right here and take them hooks out. 
Once you get your hooks on, that's it. You got yourself a bona fide bad boy jug. What I do is wrap the line all the way around the jug until you get to the hooks. Press the hooks into the foam noodle and put the weight in the middle of it. Self storage. There you go. Jugs for $2.75 each. Can't beat it. <laughs>